Hi dear. It's one of the hardest things to keep in balance whilst in relationship. Some of us are inclined to merge with the other and to become part of their world, adapting and adjusting to them. Initially, this may seem like a special skill because it allows us to really merge and really become part of the other's world. But of course the other might not really enjoy this all the time. It might seem like an imposition and it might seem like an imitation or a takeover of space. So you need to become sensitive about that and you need to learn to stand more in your own right and to live your own life while still in that relationship. So you need to learn to focus both on your inner center and on the center of the other and also on the building of a new center that you can both own together and most importantly that you can both contribute to. Now the same is true if you have the opposite tendency. If you are inclined in relationship to do the takeover and to set the rules and to be the one that wants to be independent and that pushes other people away, i.e. when you might be seen as having problems with intimacy and you like to be dominant or in control. That too, of course, may give you your safety in the same way in which the person who merges get their safety from being very loving and caring and adoptive and adjusting. You might get your safety from pushing away and holding on to your own boundaries, affirming your own rights. But of course you often rely on people who come to you and who adjust to you and facilitate that closeness for you. And if you keep pushing them away, the relationship won't work either or they will start perceiving you as a bully or as somebody who isn't very affectionate or isn't very loving in return. Most of us, of course, are somewhere in between those two polar opposites. We neither simply merge, nor do we dominate or control. We do a bit of both. So most relationships have to have adjustments in all directions. You need to be able to find not so much a compromise as a collaborative synergy that works for you both. And when I say work for you both, I mean that allows each of you to learn a little bit about where you go wrong or about what you need from the other and ask for more of what is good for you. And also at the same time become more sensitive to what is good for the other. So that you're both doing that work of getting more and giving more of taking in more of the other's reality and adjusting your own reality while making the other understand where you are coming from. So that is the give and take of relationships, becoming aware of how the other approaches you, how they experience that interaction and how you can learn by listening to the other and how they experience you and even the best of your intentions might be sometimes experienced as needy or bullying or unpleasant in some other form or shape. So you need to not feel judged by that, but understand what it is like to be with you and understand also how you can bring out more of what is really inside of you 
that true feeling of wanting to connect, wanting to love and wanting to be loved in return. If you can hold on to that and you can talk about it and help the others see it and connect with that core of yourself rather than with these not so good ways in which you have been behaving and conducting yourself, you will find a new bridge of understanding is built between you. And if you both keep building that bridge from either side, eventually you will meet in the middle and then you will have a true relationship with a bridge that holds between you and that allows you to compensate for your own difficulties by being with the other and vice versa. And that strength of standing together through thick and thin is one of the best things that human beings are capable of doing. So make sure to think about how you love and how you let yourself be loved and not to jump to the conclusion that other people can see what's in your heart straight away or that the way you enact what's in your heart is so wonderful because perhaps my friend you have been part of the problem rather than part of the solution and in a couple both partners need to be prepared to challenge themselves and to work at becoming part of that collaborative venture that is being loving. I wish you every best strength and courage with that because the more people love on this earth and the better a place it will be for all of us. So take good care of each other and also take really good care of yourself.